Hey, Ron here from Military Images with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. Today, I want to start in the present and talking about your photographs. I know you, like me, have your images stored on your phone, all your family photographs, your loved ones, your friends. These albums are precious to you. They're incredibly important. When you have to transfer your contents to a new phone, those photos better be on there. So we know that they're part of who we are. They're part of our identities. Well, same is true in the 19th century. These beautiful one-of-a-kind images, these ambera types, tin types, cartes de visite, and other formats were as important to citizens in the 19th century as they are to us today. So you can imagine how shocking it would be for someone to throw away ambrotypes, or maybe the better term here is to discard ambrotypes. You can even imagine more of my surprise when I uncovered a story, a new story in a West Virginia newspaper from the summer of 1874 that detailed just such an act. It's a short news brief, and I'm going to read it to you. Here it is, quote, quite a number of Amber types were discovered yesterday lying in the backyard of the Sherman house directly under the window of a room occupied by two young men who were engaged in the business of enlarging pictures and for this purpose had collected those found. The pictures are now in possession of Colonel A.H. Wilson at the Sherman house and can be had by calling on him. So a couple questions here that need answering. Why were these photos discarded? And who were these two gentlemen photographers who were engaged in the business of enlarging pictures? Well, a brief history. Back in the earliest days of photography, when daguerreotypes were the only option, Later on in the 1850s, when the ambera type and the tin type came along, photographers began to advertise their services as copying photographs. And the idea was the newfangled formats of the ambera type and the tin type were more durable, more long lasting than those old fashioned daguerreotypes. So forget about those, get your picture copied, get a photograph of your loved one, perhaps a mother or father who has passed, a child who has passed, a grandparent. Don't worry about that daguerreotype. Get an amber type or a tin type made so that you could preserve it forever. A few years later, when paper photography comes along, albumin photographs, particularly in the form of the carte de visite, which is about the size of a modern trading card, the advertisements by photographers to copy those photographs continued. And so it was part of the whole routine, kind of an upsell, bring in those old photographs and have them copied. And as technology became more sophisticated in the 1860s and the 1870s, the idea of enlarging the photograph to make a beautiful framed image that you could hang in a prominent place in your house made some of those other smaller photographs feel obsolete. They were still important personally, but obsolete. When you can have a huge enlarged portrait or a multiple copies of a paper photograph of an old plate image, why not do it? The truth is, I doubt that these individuals who brought in their photographs to be enlarged or copied thought about throwing them away. I'm sure they wanted them back. But in this case, these two young men operating in a gallery in West Virginia didn't think that much about the photographs and apparently left them outside the window in the yard of the place of business. Who knows what could have happened? In the summer, the heat, a rainstorm could have destroyed them. But kudos to this colonel the Colonel A.H. Wilson, who I guess found these photographs, 
or someone perhaps found them and delivered them to an important person, the colonel in town, to be able to find out what to do with them. And the colonel apparently placed this news story and this advertisement to be able to deliver the images, uh, those discarded images, the ones that might have been trashed to the rightful owners, to the families. So a tip of the cap to Colonel Wilson and a little story, a little, little anecdote about photography and ambrotypes in 1874. Until the next time, happy trails.